This is a video tutorial to guide you in the simulation of the structured excavation exercise presented in Chapter 9 of the Tutorial Manual. The objective is to make you learn how to deal with the excavation feature implemented in ANURA 3D through the modeling of a strapped vertical excavation in elastoplastic material. In the video, we'll be shown the problem definition, how to create input data, how to perform the calculation, and finally, how to visualize the results. As reported in the manual, this problem is modeled in 2D plane strain conditions. Here you can see the geometry including the dimension specification after the excavation process. D is the final excavation depth and B is the width. The analysis is conducted in undraining total stresses. The calculation will be performed in two stages. First, the stress initialization by quasi-static gravity loading. Then, the excavation process by removing the two soil surfaces of 1 meter height each. Once open the GID program and save the project, you have to select the ANURA 3D problem type from the main menu. So you can start to draw the geometry by writing in the command line the points coordinates that are reported in the manual. As you can see, an entity containing empty element is defined at the top side of the soil model to allow for free movement of material points. Based on the polygons that constitute the geometry, you have to generate the surfaces with the Create Nerve Surface option by selecting the edge of each polygon and press Ask button for a correct assignment. At this point, you can define the material properties to assign to the surfaces. Enter into Material menu and create the material soil with the properties specified in the manual. This is defined as saturated and draining total stress material with a more Coulomb constitutive model. You can now assign the soil material by clicking on each surface of the model occupied by it and check the assignment with the draw command. The next step is to specify the initial number of material points per element to each surface of the model occupied by the soil material. You can keep the default selection of surface in 2D single point formulation and choose in this case 3 material points per element. You can now assign the boundary conditions for solid phase on the lines of the geometry. Enter into the Fixities menu and select Solid Fixity Line and assign on the left and right sides of the geometry horizontal fixities. This condition is also applied at the vertical contours of the excavation to ensure the hypothesis of structured excavation. Then, full fixities are applied at the bottom side and vertical fixities at the top. Let's go to generate now the mesh. Since this is a 2D model, be sure that in the mesh menu the quadratic type is set to normal and then specify the element type as a triangle and assign it to all the surfaces of the model. Now you can generate the mesh by defining an element size of 0.25 and visualize it. Once created the mesh, we can define the excavation steps from the excavation menu. The process is simulated in two stages by removing the material points of the two surfaces of 1 meter high and 1 meter wide that you previously created. Since in the first five steps of the calculation the gravity loading will be applied, the first step of the excavation sequence for the first surface is set to 6. The last step of the sequence is set to 75, which is the final load step of the simulation since in this case we want to continuously remove the material points as they rise inside the excavation. You can now assign the excavation sequence to the first surface. 
Now, since the excavation of surface 1 is performed in 10 load steps, the first step of the excavation sequence for the second surface is set to 16, and the last step is again 75. Now you can assign this condition to the second surface. You can check the assignment through the draw color command. Once defined the excavation sequences, the mesh has to be regenerated. You are now ready to specify the calculation data from the ANURA 3D menu for the stress initialization by gravity loading phase. This is a 2D plane strain analysis. Set the number of calculation steps equal to 5. Apply the gravity load stepwise from 0 to 1 multiplier. Apply the converged criteria for the quasi-static calculation and an homogeneous local damping of 0 0.75. Then apply the strain smoothing. Then click to accept to save the modification. And then save your project and click to generate Anura 3D files. The files are now generated in the project folder. As you can notice, a new folder with A3D extension has been generated by GID. Inside, you can find all the input files necessary to run the simulation. There is also the calculate file that includes the path of the project folder where to find the executable and the input files. So double click on calculate to launch the first phase of the simulation corresponding to the stress initialization by gravity loading. To run the second phase of the simulation, including the excavation process, you need to modify the last CPS file that is generated at the end of the stress initialization phase. This is the CPS number 6. You have to modify the number of load steps to 75, the time per load step to 0 0.15, switch off the quasi-static convergence, reduce the homogeneous local damping to 0 0.05, then save the file and double-click again on Calculate to perform the second phase of the simulation. To visualize the simulation results, open Paraview software and import the output files with VTK extension generated by Anura 3D in the project folder. They include the results of mesh data, scalar, tensor and vector quantities. In this way, you can visualize the mesh. Then you can check the results of the stress initialization phase going to the tensor file, selecting the effective stress solid and choose the component that you want to visualize. According to what is explained in the manual, vertical stresses correspond to component 4 in Paraview. So let's go to step 5, which is the last one of the initialization phase, and select Rescale. The displacements are stored in the vector file. If you want to visualize the horizontal ones, you have to select the X component. Now let's go to the end of the simulation and click on Rescale to better visualize the final values. You can do the same to visualize vertical displacements by selecting the Y component or you can visualize the total displacement magnitude. You can see that during the old simulation, the material points are not allowed to accumulate into the excavation and they are continuously removed. In this video, you learn how to model a structured excavation problem with ANURA 3D. First, you learn how to define the model in GID, in particular, to perform a quasi-static calculation for stress initialization and to define the excavation steps. The simulation consisted of two phases, so you learn to perform a staggered calculation and finally to visualize the results in Paraview.